What's up everybody? Hope you're doing well out there. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another retro review. Today I'm gonna look at some ET games. And the most famous of the ET games is obviously this one from 1982, the Atari 2600 version of it. And I'm not gonna go into all of the details of this game. It's notorious for, you know, at the time it came out, it apparently crashed the video game industry, and, uh... There's the urban legend that the game wound up in a landfill in New Mexico, because, uh, they just couldn't ship it. It was garbage. You'll have to look it up. I'm not gonna go into too much detail about the all of the urban legends and stuff about this game. But the premise is, yeah, you land, and you gotta find three pieces of a phone. Damn it. And yet you get one button since it's the Atari 2600. So I try to uh, get out of these holes. Here we go. And oh shit, is that the? Yeah. And then you've got these uh, government agents that are coming after you uh, to come and take ET away. Uh oh, they got me. So yeah, this is basically E.T. on the Atari 2600, but believe it or not, this one isn't uh, the worst game. I know it's notorious for being garbage, but there are a lot worse games than this, and we're going to check those out right now. So the first game we were going to check out is E.T. the Extraterrestrial. This game came out in 2001. And it's by New Kid Co. And this company is came out. They're a uh, sub company of SquareSoft. They actually ended in 2005. And at the time, they had properties to like Dora the Explorer, uh, Winnie the Pooh, and some of the Ses Street, Sesame Street gangs, as well as E.T. And from what I've seen from this game, it's basically a modernized remake of the Atari 2600 version. So, let's check it out. Um, looks like you can use passwords on it. We'll play it on normal. In this level, we play as E.T., so I'm guessing you can play as E.T. or Elliot. I don't know 100% too much about this game. We're an alien botanist traveling to a different world to study the plant life. I think you just arrived on a small planet. You must begin your study and collect samples. So, E.T.'s an alien botanist. Who would have who'd thought that? Well, the graphics are cool on this game. And yeah, the alien ship drops us off. And looks like I can, uh... Yeah, I can shoot my finger and warm my heart up. I don't know if that's uh, taking life off me or anything. None of the other buttons work. I can't jump. I guess I can absorb. I'm a botanist, so... This has a very Sega Genesis kind of feel to it, even though it's a, what is it, Game Boy Advance? Ooh, what was that, a frog? Yeah, I literally have no idea what I'm doing with this one. Do I heal the plants? Or am I killing the plants? I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, at least the, at least the Atari 2600 one made sense. Maybe it's just me, but this one's a yeah, this one's a little out there. This company also actually made two other ET games, and we're gonna check those out. All right, next up is ET Escape from Planet Earth. What I like to call part two of the New Kid Co trilogy. And again, I've never played this. This is for the uh, Game Boy Color. Select game. Get wood. That's fine. So it looks like we're Elliot. We've got an ET in a basket on this one. And again, I can only get one button to work, and that's the. Uh... 
Ooh, looks like, okay. We, we're trying to fly over, okay, we can fly. So the A button jumps, lets us fly. None of the other buttons seem to work. I, wow, I don't know what happened. Avoid the animals. Now I'm playing as E.T. Wow, this one is strange. Wow, um, use freeze power. How do I use freeze power? Oh. Yeah, I have no idea what's actually going on with this one. So far, I'm liking this better than the other two games. This is, uh, so far the easiest one. Almost like kind of brain dead one, I guess. Um, hmm. Yeah, so that's this one for you. But there is one more I wanted to check out real quick. So this last one is called. E.T. and the Cosmic Garden. It's the last one by New Kids Co. And they put out three games, basically, I think, in the same year on E.T. Actually, they put out four. But this was game three of it. And as far as I'm concerned, this one is, uh, from what I've seen, it's the worst one. Yeah, it will be me. Again, we land. This time it looks like we're landing in the ocean. I don't know if that's relevant. Oop, what are my options? I can, what are my, sound effects, music, quick game. No, we're good. Wow. Um, Encyclopedia Galactica. I don't even know if I want to get into that. Okay, this is just telling you all the uh, different things you got to do. That kind of makes sense. Yeah, and then you go around completing all of those said tasks, I think. If I can get down there. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I have no idea what I'm doing. I think if I would have read the uh, encyclopedia, I would, I would have a pretty good idea what to do. Oh, I'm moving rocks. That's cool. Yeah, I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, this game would definitely have to take a uh, full-on, almost a review of its own to process all the stuff that's going on with this one. But anyway, thanks for watching everybody. I just wanted to show you guys that there are other ET games out there that are uh, almost even worse than the Atari 2600. But I had fun making this review. I hope you guys had fun watching it. I will see you guys next time.